This NFL Mailbag is presented by Manscaped. Harrison Graham, Tom Downey with you. We're going to answer your questions in just a second. But first, go to manscaped.com slash chat. Get 20% off plus free shipping. Go check out all of their awesome men's grooming products. I promise you will not be disappo disappointed. Manscaped.com slash chat. All right, we'll hop into your questions here on today's show. Everett Thomas with the super chat. Josh Allen plus Russell Wilson equals Trevor Lawrence. I assume he's taking Josh Allen's size and his arm strength with Wilson's accuracy and I guess kind of both of their mobility. So like well, high end traits wise, I actually don't hate that. Lawrence isn't if, if, nearly if, as big as Allen. No, Let's he's not. He's not, but he, but he's got great size too. And he can run. I think Allen's faster, but uh, okay, I don't hate it. I, I don't mind it I, if he hits. Dwayne Jazz, he'll hit. Is there, is there, is there, is an over season including mini? I think he meant off. Season. He meant off season. Yeah. Is there an off season including rookie mini camps and full camps? If there is a full camps, what restrictions has the NFL put on teams regarding full camps? I think a lot of that's in flux. I think the hope that there will be, but we'll see. The NFL PA is trying to take advantage of what we just went through of, hey, we can all do it remotely. We don't need in-person OTAs and stuff, mm. which, for the record, I think is wrong. I think it's stupid. I think if you're trying to win football games, be the best player you can be, you I, want those I opportunities. Think it's a major disadvantage for teams installing new coaches. It staff. absolutely is. It is a problem for them. And Why we not saw just that give the, the teams the option? Like, you still have the same protocols that you had in the season. If there's mm. positive tests, you send people home and you do. Yeah. What's the What's the issue? Like, you, you can go remote Look, if you're man, forced we, to. We could have done the combine, and we didn't do that either. So we'll see about the, the, the normal offseason. Tom's still butthurt over the combine. We, we could have done it. We're doing the damn senior bowl. We could have we done the combine. Come on. How about this? How about this question Tom put together? Four and a half quarterbacks get drafted in round one. Obviously, the half is over or under. So type O for over, meaning five or more. Type U for under, four or less. Mel Kuyper has five in the top 15. What this really is asking is, does Mac Jones go in the first round? Yes. And I, I felt better about four and a half like two months ago. And now I'm like, oh, does he need, does he need to go to five and a half? I think it does. I Max going. I, I don't like five and a half because Trask is not going in the first round. I don't think he no will, way. but there's a better chance he does than Mac does. Let's see how Mac opinion. does in the Senior Bowl. We'll that, that that matters for him. Type O for over, U for under. Russell Wilson is overrated. Which Russell Appreciate Wilson? For, first half of the season, Russ, or like, oh, they took away the deep shot. Now our offense is screwed. Russell Wilson. I think he is overrated. Okay. And fair. again, overrated means you're probably good. Okay, people think overrated is this super bad thing. He's just not in the Mahomes category going into the season. Oh, you know, he's going to win the MVP. He's the front runner. He won the award in September. It's already over. Like Mahomes is in his own category. Yeah, he's though. not Mahomes and he, he you know, he's not Rodgers either. Like he's really good, but mm -hmm. he's not those guys, okay. which means he's overrated and that's fine. He's still top five, top seven. There's okay. nothing wrong I, with I'm that. I'm not going to argue top five, top seven. And at that point, like, Make sure you maximize him and not run the football. Overrated is oh. still good. It just okay. means he's not as good as people say. Charlie, are the Bears signing back A-Rob? They better. They better. <laughs> if they don't, it's they're, you, buddy. they should just rebuild. Look, I, I continue to break this down. YouTube.com slash Bears now. Go check that out. Hashtag sign AR for you, uh, for you Bears now uh, subs. You guys know what the drill is. Um I still think, at minimum, they tag him. Mm -hmm. I think the worst-case scenario is a tag and trade, which if you get a first, I guess it's not the worst. But I'll say this. If you want any hope at Deshaun Watson, you have to sign Allen Robinson. Like, yeah. why would he agree to go there without a number one receiver? Percival Dyson the fourth. It's Percival. What a, what a name. Do the Dolphins, He's probably British. <laughs> probably. Do the Dolphins need to draft a running back early? Uh, first off, you never need to draft a back <laughs> early. That, that, that is not something you ever have to do. Now, in terms of their needs, I do think running back should be kind of high up on that list. And, and, and the nice part here for – I guess somewhat nice part here for, for the Dolphins is that there are some good backs in this year's class. Now, I don't want to take Etienne or Harris in the top 18 like with – where they're picking, if one of those guys is there at the top of round two, I like that idea a lot. Yeah. And then maybe if those guys are gone, you could go with either of the UNC backs. They're so much fun. Kenneth Gainwell didn't play for Memphis, but yeah. or not this year, but he makes some sense on round three, day three. So I think they should take a back. It should not be in round one. Though. I think yeah. they got to go in a different direction. Yeah, I mean, Miles Gaskin was pretty solid when he was healthy. So it's not like, oh, we got to take a running back in they round They got one. passable production from their guys. I think they'd probably want someone yeah, better than replacement sure. level, though. Yeah, no doubt about it. 
best 2021 draft prospect at running back. I think it's down to two guys. I think it it's is. ETN or Najee Harris. Yeah. What do you think? Entering this year was clearly Travis Etienne for me. Yeah. The growth that Najee Harris showed this year, not just as a runner, as a pass catcher, he went from not really offering a bunch of big explosive plays. He was kind of like Zeke this past year for, for Dallas, where he was very reliable, always steady, minus the fumbles, but he wasn't offering these big 20-plus yard runs. That changed this year. You know who plummeted? He offered more. Oh, Chuba, Chuba Hubbard. Hubbard. Oh, he tanked. Oh, uh, he's, bad decision. He ain't going first three rounds now. You can go either way there. I still think I might lean, I might lean ETN, but it's very close. Let us know what you guys think. We said this mailbag was presented by Manscaped, and we want to tell you what Manscaped is all about. They've got the best men's grooming products out there. The perfect package comes with all kinds of cool stuff, including the Lawnmower 3.0. You can shave your downstairs. Look, I gave up on it. I'm not going to lie. I was like, I'm just cutting, you know, I'm, I'm having Damn, razor dude. burns, all kinds Sorry of stuff. For your wife. I quit. I'm done. And then Manscaped was like, give this product a try. Give us a chance. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give in. It's changed my life. So that's why your wife agreed to marry you instead of say, staying engaged forever. I exactly. <laughs> Without Manscaped, I probably would still be a bachelor. It's, it's been a game changer. Here's what you got to do. Go to manscaped.com slash chat. Get that 20% off in free shipping and get the lawnmower 3.0. You got the ball toter, the ball deodorant. The perfect package also comes with that travel kit, Tom. Mm -hmm. It comes with all kinds of stuff, and it will change your life. Ladies, if you're watching, get your man something from Manscaped because it's, it's also a gift for well. you, too. It is. It's, uh, it, it pays off at the end of the day. You can trust me on that one. All right, back to our mailbag. Andrew, hashtag NFL. Godwin to the Chiefs, what do you think? All you. I've had a few people ask me this. It'd be fun as hell. I don't know where the money's coming from, but hey, Brett Veach last offseason proved the cap is a myth. So. I believe they paid Mahomes his record-setting contract with a dollar twenty-seven in cap space. Uh, one hundred and twenty, one hundred and seventy-seven dollars. <laughs> okay, close but, enough. Uh, yeah, uh, I, they're not gonna. They may draft a receiver, but we'll see. Salem Love producer Sam's pushing me along. Biggest bust in this year's draft class. Probably going to be one of those opt-out guys. So maybe it's a, a, a Gregory Russo from Miami. It'll, one of the quarterbacks will bust, I promise you. So uh, Trey Lance with Dakota State has some bust potential. Gregory Russo from, from uh, Miami. And I'd even throw in a Micah Parsons in there from Penn State, Ooh. too. One, one of those opt-out guys. Dalton, should the Seahawks get Desmond King? It's an intriguing idea. I think Desmond King is best in the nickel. And aren't you going to roll back with Marquise Blair in that spot? I think so. Because you don't need a safety. So because you have Marquise Blair in theory coming back, and you can always kick DJ Reed inside Diggs if under you contract need. still? Yeah. Okay. I, I think what makes the most sense is you're going to look outside corner as opposed to inside guy. Get subscribed to Chat Sports because the only chance you can get on these mailbags is by subscribing and joining us live on Mondays and on Wednesdays. We go live at 4 o'clock Eastern Time, 1 o'clock Pacific. So subscribe. And the key here is turn on that notification yes. bell because you'll get a notification on your phone. Hey, they're going live in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. I can get my questions in. Subscribe. NFL live shows all off season long. Every Monday, every Wednesday. Join us every single week. Oscar Reese here, hashtag NFL. Should the Broncos take Parsons at number one? <sighs> Parsons is an interesting prospect where I think in the end I'm not going to be as hot on him as I thought I was going to be before I really dove into the film st study side of it. He should still be among the first defenders drafted. And I do think the Broncos' style of defense and where – they would utilize and how they would utilize Micah Parsons under Vic Fangio, I do think makes him a good fit. Okay. But he, look, he can hit, he can run, he can blitz. He's a good athlete. He reminds me of Jalen Smith pre-injury at Notre Dame, who I loved, but I've got coverage concerns. Yeah. I, I, his coverage was just, okay, hook zone, you're fine. Like They didn't really test him at all, and I'm worried about that. And, and there are, and this is not from me, this is multiple different NFL draft guys out there, mentioning the character concerns and, and, and maturity issues and a hazing issue at Penn State. So those are all potential red flags, and you throw in he's barely played linebacker. He was an edge rusher in high school, and he opted out this year. Mm. Those are some red flags that at least should give you pause about it. So predict where Micah Parsons will get drafted. Will he go top 10? Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Maybe throw out a team that you think makes some sense, like the Denver Broncos. A couple supers to get to here. Jaden Henderson, should the Texans stop chasing waterfalls? It's funny. Uh, maybe just do a better job of your organizational structure and not let a, a pa uh, one pastor come in and me mess it all up. Literally what happened. 
Like, Jack Easterby shows up and just can, gets power grabs, and it, it, it's a disaster. There's not a lot of waterfalls in Texas. The so High Sparrow from uh, Game of Thrones here. That's, I, that's, that's what we're, we, we, we are doing. That's a big problem. R. Jonesy, what time of the year can we expect major trades? I'd say as soon as the Super Bowl is over, things can start to happen. Yeah. They you can't be official till March 15th. Exactly. That, that early March period is when, when you'll see some more traction. But I'd say a week or two after the Super Bowl – that might be the sweet spot for a Matthew Stafford trade in particular. I will say this year a little earlier than normal, potentially, because there mm. are more quarterbacks that could be on the move.